Hi everybody. Well, it's December, the festive month. And if you're anything like me, you'll be enjoying your winter vegetables on your allotment or in your kitchen garden at the same time as putting the allotment to bed as well. So I've got a huge big pile of plant grow to mulch my allotment. I've just pulled up some absolutely amazing looking leeks and I'm harvesting kale, cabbages. My onions have had to be protected because the pigeons kept pulling them up. Uh, but other than that, I'm just about to get my tulip bulbs in and then give my cut flower patch a good mulch as well. So even though it's December, there's still so much to do. And if you're like me, you'll love these really beautiful sunny days. It's so cold, it's very crisp, but the sun is shining, it's clear and it's not raining. So make the most of those days. Um, I'm down here with a hot drink, numerous layers of clothes on, but that's December for you. So things to do, especially in the greenhouse, of course, keep it clean. Make sure things aren't getting watered too much because you need to keep um, things from being too wet in the cold. If you haven't already cleaned the greenhouse, I know I've said it for the last couple of months, but make sure you give all of the glass a good clean inside and outside for maximum light to the plants that you have got growing in the greenhouse at this time of year. I've got some sweet peas growing in mine and they're looking pretty good. They're coming up, so I'm pretty happy with that. So in the garden, it's a good time to prune things like your grapevines, aces can be pruned as well. So there's still plenty to be doing, even with ornamentals and trees, of course. And actually at this time of year, it's great for bare root planting as well. So bare root perennials, definitely roses. If you want to add some more roses into your garden, now is a great time to do it. Last year, I planted out St. Ethelberger, Blue For You and Tequila Sunrise. They were all bare roots from Peter Beale's Roses and they have just established so well in just a year. It's a really healthy and cheap way to get more plants. If you're growing on the plot or in your kitchen garden some winter lettuce, then it's a good idea just to have some fleece on hand because if it gets particularly cold, very frozen, and if we get lots of snow, you just might want to protect those with some fleece. If you've got those lovely winter vegetables growing like I have, make sure they're netted because you'll find the birds will definitely want them as much as you. Of course, hopefully you can supplement the bird food with something different to keep them away from those yummy brassicas. So at this time of year, of course, in the coming months, we'll probably get strong winds and rain. So any plants that you have got that need securing or tying in, make sure that you do that now before the weather gets too bad. Certainly climbing roses, for example, you want to give those a prune and then tie in to the supports anywhere that you can to make sure it stays healthy and secure throughout the colder weather. And of course, one of the great things about this time of year is all the beautiful foliage out there. And of course, some of the evergreen shrubs and trees, you know, like holly, that you can harvest and make into your own Christmas wreaths and pine cones and just go out and collect some stuff from the garden and see what you can make for indoors, like natural Christmas decorations. So actually, I really enjoy December. I'm not the most festive person in the world, but outside in the garden and on the allotment, these sunny days are just so beautiful that it's just a really lovely time. So I'm going to get on with my gardening now. I've got some microgreens to harvest, some lettuce to harvest. I'm pulling my leeks up before the ground gets too frozen and giving the plot a good mulch. So a busy few hours ahead for me. Happy Christmas. <laughs> 